Hi everybody, happy Thursday. It's Donna with Donna's Deals and DIYs. Hope you're having a great day. I have another devotional for you, Release 90 Days to Embrace God's Plan for Your Life by Bridget Reed. And we have today and tomorrow Friday in this book. And then we are finished with this devotional book. And I have three, I have four more devotional books. Um, one of which, um, I'm, well, I'm picking between three that I have left. And I'm going to pray about which one God wants me to read next. I have kind of know, but I don't know. So we're going to, I'll pray about it and decide which one I want to read next. Um, so, hope you uh, have enjoyed this one. And uh, today is my first day back at work after the summer break. So, y'all pray for me. Have a good school year and have a good day back. Um. And I am excited. So, let's get with this devotional. Stepping out. And my eager expectation and hope is that while I will not be ashamed about anything, but that now, as always, with all coverage, Christ will be highly honored in my body, whether by life or by death. Philippians 1.20 in the CSB version. Competing in a triathlon for the first time made me realize the barriers within my own mind. I understood that the reason I was not experiencing certain things in life was not because they weren't available to me, but because I never allowed myself to reach for them. My boldness grew as I went into the unknown and into uncertainty, and I saw beauty in the midst of it. I now embrace the unknown with excitement because I have seen and again how God uses these seasons to build boldness and endurance in me. As someone who has always had a plan and believes in planning, I am no longer ashamed if my plans don't work out. What ends up happening is God's plan turns out much better for His glory. When I think back to all the things I wanted to do that didn't come about, I believe I'd be living in frustration if I had held on to them. Because while I would now have because while I would now have what I worked so hard for, I still would be unfulfilled on a deeper level. What about you? Do you feel relieved that God didn't allow some of your plans to work out? Oh, yeah. Stepping out in faith and into the unknown is not easy. It leaves out loved ones wondering if something is wrong with us. They have good intentions and want to protect us. But we must seek God for understanding, confirmation, and clarity, not them. The best thing both sides can do is pray. Pray that we don't get distracted or miss God. But also pray that if we do miss God in this move, He will give us the grace to come back home and get it right. Amen. Our prayer is, Father, my goal is to please you. May everyone I'm connected with have peace with what you are doing in my life. Thank you for my support system. In Jesus' name, amen. That is so important, that support system is, because there's been times when I was like, I know God wants me to do this, and I really felt it strong in my heart, and other people were like, oh, no, no, you can't do that. And, you know, if God wanted me to do it, it sure did happen. Um, but it, when you have friends that support you and family that support you anyway, even if they have a doubt in their mind, um, that's just so important. It really is. Um, and so I definitely want to be that for anybody who needs it. <laughs> so feel free to email me at platware at yahoo.com with any of your prayer requests or praise reports. And I do have prayer, uh, requests and I, um, want everyone to please keep those in your prayers and I'll put them in the description box um, to make it easier uh, for everybody to remember what they are and um, I just thank you guys so much for keeping those prayers in your prayer prayers as well and those prayer uh, requests in your prayers as well and 
I will be back tomorrow with another devotional. Thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe if you haven't already by hitting that red subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up and comment below any prayer requests that you have or email me or any comments that you have. God bless you. Remember that I love you and God loves you too. Bye-bye.